It is unfortunate, though, Honorable Speaker, that since the announcement of the outcome of the 2022 general elections, some people, including politicians who have failed to earn power legitimately at the polls, have continually attempted to destabilize the security of our beloved Fiji. It is the rule of law they do not want to respect. They continually incite and propagate for the RSMF to take power, essentially to remove the elected government of the people, abusing constitutional provisions to support their ambitions to take power at any cost. Honorable Speaker, attempts to remove any government through the barrel of the gun must stop. No more coups. Honorable Speaker, we the Fijian people desire peace. Any person or group that wishes to disrupt our peace and our security and our sovereignty deserves to be opposed and resisted accordingly to the law. We have also heard that the command of RSMF has noted, as an institution, the RSMF is committed to upholding the Constitution and its values, ensuring their actions align with the principles of democracy and the rule of law, and that any suggestion of taking extra constitutional steps to preserve constitutional structures goes against the very democratic principles that RSMF has sworn to uphold. I ask our Fijian people, please do not use the RSMF as a platform to achieve your own political ambitions, which you could not achieve by coming through the gate. It doesn't matter if you are citizen Pramila or citizen Choni. It's the reason why the judiciary is the third arm of the state, Honorable Speaker. It is here, it is there to hear and judge our grievances. Please use it. Let me assure all Fijians, your security is secured. It is our concern. It is your government's concern. It is our responsibility to keep you safe. Mr. Speaker, sir, for the Ministry of Home Affairs and Immigration to advance our security strategic stance and consolidate the execution of the Ministry's mandated role, it requires the appropriate budgetary resources to the Ministry's headquarters and its line agencies and institutions. <laughs> I am indeed appreciative of the budget allocated to my Ministry and to the two security forces. In our ambition for global and regional recognition of being the hub of the Pacific, it is important that we develop and establish mechanisms that recognize the full spectrum of the value that our defense and security interests offer to ordinary Fijians. The allocated funds of $324,202 for the National Security and Defense Review, as announced by His Excellency the President, is a significant investment that will enable the government to undertake a holistic national security and defense review. The Defense and National Security Review will be a strategic assessment of Fiji's national security architecture and the role of the ministry. In a world marked by rapid changes and emerging threats, this review is of utmost importance. By proactively adapting to evolving security challenges, we strengthen our ability to protect our citizens, our children, maintain law and order, and the safeguard and safeguard our national interests. The government's commitment to the integrity and security of our travel documents is evident in the allocation of funds for the procurement of passports and the installation of e-passport kits. We are taking significant steps to align ourselves with the global standards and bolster the confidence of international travelers. The allocation of $1.5 million for the procurement of passports and an additional $300,000 for the installation of e-passport kits in immigration offices and overseas missions ensure the issuance of secure and reliable travel documents which are essential for our citizens to exercise their rights and access opportunities abroad. Mr. Speaker, sir, 
As alluded by the Minister for Finance, the Fiji Police Force has been allocated a budget of $183.7 million, an increase of $3 million from the 2022-2023 revised budget. This commitment by government will surely bolster policing activities that will ensure a safe and secure Fiji through peaceful coexistence and the general maintenance of law and order. As part of the Security and Defense Review, the Fiji Police Force has been allocated $50,000 to carry out the review of the, of the Police Act 1965. This review, through public consultation, will provide a holistic view of opinions from all those that will be impacted in order for the development of a police act that will empower their operations and bring back confidence in our Fiji police force. 